rapper X marks the top. Appreciate you, LG. Today, we're counting down the top five nastiest pitches in the game. So let's get straight to it. At number five, David Bednar's four-seam fastball does not get enough love. Now, this ain't the flashiest fastball in the league. It averages 96 miles an hour, so the velocity isn't crazy. But because of how he supplements his curveball with this pitch, he gets so many swing and misses at a higher rate, 44.3 to be exact. And don't even think about swinging at this pitch up in the zone. It's already by you. At number four, the Otani sweeper is so good that StatCast had to create a new pitch just to identify it. Now, this is a pitch he's boosted the usage on because the results are straight filthy. Back in 2021, he was only throwing it 22% of the time. And now he's more than doubled the usage up to 45%. The way this pitch moves horizontally across the plate should be illegal. And oftentimes it starts in the right-handed batter's box and then whoop, Back foots the lefties with ease. Straight unfair. At number three, the internationally famous Kodai Senga ghost fork has been as advertised. Senga's still adjusting to major league hitters, but the ghost fork is for real. He's given up zero hard hit balls in 48 plate appearances, and that's the most plate appearances without a hard hit ball on any pitch this season. 27 of his 43 strikeouts have been on the ghost fork. The horizontal drop on this pitch has major league hitters looking like they're swatting at a fly but I ain't afraid of no ghosts. At number two, give me the footage of Alexis Diaz's slider. The movement on this pitch speaks for itself, but I gotta plug my researcher Mark Sales because he reminded me that the, this might be the second best slider in baseball next to his own brother Edwin's slide piece. Edwin had a 54% whiff percentage last year on the slider. Alexis's is 49% this year, and Alexis has only allowed two hits on the slider all year. Both hits were singles. When hitters have to face him, they say, oh, brother. At number one, we got Yanir Cano's changeup. If you don't know who Yanir is, you better ask somebody. He's arguably the best reliever in the game right now. Quite the change from last year when he struggled big time in his first taste of the show. He had an 11.50 ERA in 18 innings, and he walked 16 dudes last year. Now, the command is impeccable, and he's untouchable. A large part of it is because of the success of the changeup. Hitters are 0 for 24 on this pitch this year, and they have just a 0.75 expected batting average against it. The pitch drops off the table and performs the Houdini. Now you see me, now you don't. Here's a look at my top five. Now back to you, LG, take it from here.